All right, so this is our first example from the solving moles to moles limiting reactant problems. So this is stoichiometry uh, taking into account limiting reactant. So we have this reaction, hydrogen gas. So we're going to build our chemical equation and balance it. That's our first step for stoichiometry. Uh, hydrogen gas and oxygen gas react to form water vapor. Okay, so let's go ahead and balance this as well. This will be two, and this will be two. And so now we have a chemical equation that is balanced. And it says, suppose we have nine moles of H2 and 13 moles of O2. The first question I asked is, could half of the H2 react? Could half of the H2 react? We have nine moles of H2 to start. So how do we answer uh, whether or not half of the hydrogen gas could react in this reaction, given these, these amounts of substances? Well, what's half of nine? Half of nine is 4.5. So half of nine moles of hydrogen gas is 4.5 moles of H2. So in order to determine if 4.5 moles of H2 would react given these amounts, what we're going to do is we're going to convert from this to this. What are we doing when we do that conversion? What we're doing is this. If I have 4.5 moles of H2, how many moles of oxygen gas are required to fully react with that? So let's see. Because I'm already at moles of hydrogen, I can use the mole ratios or the coefficients from the balance equation to convert from this substance to this substance. You can only convert from one substance to another once you have moles of your starting substance. So two moles of H2 as we see here in the balance equation, react with one mole of O2. Moles of H2 is gone. Now, I end up with 2.25 moles of O2. So the question was, could half of the H2 react given these amounts? Well, what's half of the amount of H2 that we have? We have nine moles. Half is four and a half moles. So we did a little, little bit of stoichiometry here, and we determined that if I want all of this 4.5 moles of H2 to react, which is half of what we have to begin with, I need 2.25 moles of O2. If I have 2.25 moles of O2, I can use up all of these 4.5 moles of H2. Okay, And so, uh, do I have 2.25 moles of O2? Yeah, I have 13. So, could half of the H2 react? Absolutely, because I have more than enough O2 for it to react with. So, if you answered yes, calculate how many moles of H2 would be produced. So, what this is asking us to do is just to figure out how much product, how much water would I make? from 4.5 moles of H2. Now, clearly, uh, H2 is our limiting reactant. So this is our limiting reactant. And oxygen is our excess reactant. So they're asking us to tell them, well, how much water can we make if half of the H2 reacts? So let's do that. So 4.5 moles of H2. Because we're at moles, we can use the coefficients from the balance equation to convert from this substance to this substance. So if I have 4.5 moles of this, how many moles of this will I make? So we're going in this part from there to there. Two moles of H2 react to produce two moles of H2O. 
I end up with 4.5 moles of H2O. And so that is what we get there.